Hi everybody, welcome to the YMCA Virtual Studio. My name is Kelly, and today we are gonna be doing IMX Pilates. So we're gonna be lengthening and strengthening our muscles and strengthening our core. So for today's workout, you'll need a mat, some water, and you will also need a ring, or if you don't have a ring, a yoga block or a pillow, or a beach ball or some kind of ball will also work as well. This class will be 30 minutes long, so we're gonna go through a bunch of different series, a couple exercises from each series. So again, 30 minutes, beginning to end, and um, having a great open attitude towards this is gonna be helpful as well. So we're gonna get started with a little bit of a warm up, just kind of open up our hips and warm our body up. So let's stand with your feet about hip width apart, and then inhale and reach your arms overhead and press your palms right up to the ceiling and move around in this. You wanna to try to find space between the rib cage and the hip on each side. So just moving. One of the main tenets of Pilates is lengthening, lengthening that spine, lengthening the muscles and see how that feels. And then just relax that. We're gonna roll down our spine. So bend the knees quite a lot to begin. Tuck your chin and roll down the spine slowly, one vertebrae at a time, nice and slow. So when you get down there, let's cup our opposite hands to the opposite elbow and really hang that head down and feel a nice opening along the back of the body. And we're just gonna move side to side just a little bit. And let's place those hands on our shins. Inhale, flat back extends, so lift the chest. You're gonna get a nice line of energy from the crown of the head to the tailbone. Now let's come back down again and roll up the spine slowly. Again, one vertebrae at a time, nice and slow. So inhale, reach the arms overhead, clasp again, find that length through the spine, feeling the feet grounded. Inhale, we're gonna exhale and bend over towards the left. And just straight, just stretching out that side of the body on the right. Inhale, back to center, and then over to the other side. And let's relax those hands down and roll down the spine, one vertebrae at a time, nice and slow. I'm gonna have you step back to a down dog. So spread your fingers wide, press your palms into the mat, and press those heels towards the floor and just begin to bicycle the heels up and down, just opening up the backs of the legs. Breathe here. And then inhale, lift both heels up again. Exhale, press both heels towards the floor. And then inhale, take that right leg up to the sky, nice three-legged dog, and you're gonna step that right foot to the outside of your hands. So bring the hands on the inside, and just bring that left knee down, and just move around through the hips. If you do a lot of hip work in Pilates, you wanna just open up those hips a little bit before class. Good, and then back to your down dog. This time, take that left leg up, all the way up, three-legged dog, squaring the hips, and step that foot through. Hands on the inside. Same idea, just moving around in this. Letting the hip open up. Breathe into it. Excellent. And then step both feet in. Adding a nice forward fold again. And then roll up. And find that length one more time. Breathe. And then relax the arms down. Excellent. So feeling a little bit longer, a little bit warmed up. So while I'm standing, just so you can see, one of our main tenets of Pilates, of course, is the lengthening, but it's also the breathing. The breathing is also very important. So if you take your hands to your rib cage, your two fingers are touching. You want to inhale and feel the rib cage expand right and left. Exhale, purse the lips, and blow the air out against resistance like you're blowing through a straw. That's the breath we wanna use throughout class. So again, inhale, feel the rib cage expand. Exhale, <laughs> blow that air out. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna make the work deeper, more efficient, more effective, and safer for us. So we're gonna come on down to the mat. I'm gonna turn on a little bit of music for us. And you're gonna bring that ring with you. So let's lie down on the mat. Feet are hip width apart, knees in line with the hips. And we're gonna take that ring and place it right in between the inner thighs. So we're gonna squeeze the inner thighs 
just a little bit. We're gonna pull the belly button into the spine. Low back is close to the mat. So you wanna avoid arching. Want that low back nice and close to the mat. So let's just practice squeezing the rings. Hands right down by your side. You wanna exhale, squeeze the ring. Feel the, feel the pelvic floor contract. And then an inhale, release that. Again, exhale, squeeze and inhale, release. Let's use that breath. Exhale, blow out against resistance. Forced exhalation and inhale, release. Let's do that again. And then inhale and release it. So let's work on our curl up. So reach the arms overhead, nice and long. You're gonna exhale, reach the hands over, then just begin to curl up. Just slip the shoulders up off the mat. Look right between the legs and check just between the knees and tuck your chin. And then inhale, bring it back. So you've got a little squeeze on the ring. So exhale, reach and curl. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, reach and curl, tuck the chin. Inhale, lengthen, reach and curl. Inhale, lengthen. So think about squeezing the ribcage towards your hips, looking between the knees. Use the breath and the arms to initiate the movement. Exhale, reach and curl. Inhale, lengthen. Two more times. That's it. And the last one. Gentle squeeze on the ring. Let's take the right arm up in high diagonal, left hand down right by your left hip. You're gonna exhale and come across the body, squeezing the ring, and then inhale, lengthen. And again, remember, if you don't have that ring, you can squeeze a pillow, you can use a ball, whatever works for you. Exhale, reach and curl, so warming up through the obliques. Inhale, lengthen. Feet are on the floor, you've got that gentle engagement with the ring, and the low back is close to the mat. Let's switch, left arm up on a high diagonal, right hand down by your side. Exhale, reach and curl. Inhale, lengthen. So both hips are on the floor and you've got that little rotation right here through your waist as you reach across to the outside of the right thigh. Exhale, reach and curl. Inhale to lengthen, reach and curl. That's it, exhale again. Let's do that one more time. Excellent. All right, hands right down by your side. Squeeze the ring, exhale, lift the knees over the hips. Keep that gentle squeeze on the ring and then inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, knees over the hips, and inhale, lower. So you're pulling the belly button in tight. Your low back is close to the mat. So no arching there, that's it. And you have a nice neutral spine. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Now the hard part here is when you're coming down, keep that low back close to the mat. You've got two more. And the last one. Now we're gonna combine that. Bring your fingertips to your temples, elbows are gonna be wide. We're gonna exhale, curl up, and lift the knees overhead, and then inhale to lower. So exhale, curl, and then inhale, lower. So you've got the knees coming over the hips, shoulders coming up off the mat. Good, exhale, squeezing the ribcage right to the hips, and inhale, take it lower again. Using our forced exhalation. Notice how that makes this movement just a little stronger makes it more effective. And as we mentioned earlier, safe for you. Wanna make sure you're safe throughout class. No pain, I want you to walk away feeling really good today. Inhale, lower, exhale, squeeze. One more. And relax that down. All right, we're gonna pull those ankles right underneath the knees as we come up and do some bridging. So take your hands right down by your side and just lift your tailbone up off the mat. All the way up, lift the hips. And then inhale, one vertebrae at a time, imprint the spine all the way down. Exhale again, now you're gonna squeeze the ring when you lift, squeeze the glutes underneath. And then inhale, bring it down. Exhale, lift all the way to the top. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift all the way to the top. And inhale, lower. Let's do two more of those. And then on this last one, we're gonna hold the hips up. So you hold the hips up. Nice engagement there with the inner thighs. And you're gonna just squeeze the ring and release it. Squeeze and release. Five more, five. That's it, blow that air out. Three, press through the heels. You're actively engaged, one more. Holding the hips up, we're just gonna pulse, little pulses up and down. So squeeze for 10, nine, eight. You're squeezing the ring as well as lifting the hips. Five more, four, three, 
two and one. Roll it all the way down, one vertebrae at a time, nice and slow. And just for a moment, remove the ray and pull those knees into the chest and rock side to side. Just release the back a little bit. And we're gonna come back into this. So you've got your heels underneath the knees, ring comes back in. Again, you don't have, you don't have to use a ring, just imagine something there and just roll the hips up. Now, we're gonna do some more hip lifts and some more squeezes, another set here, but there's a challenge. So if you want a little bit more today, you're gonna come up onto the toes and the balls of your feet. Feel the difference that makes. So we're gonna lower down just a little bit and then exhale, squeeze and lift. Squeeze, that's it. Eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it up and squeeze. 10, nine, little pulses, eight, seven, bringing the knees towards each other. Five more on the toes if you can. Excellent, roll it down slowly, one vertebrae at a time, nice and slow. Take your arms out in a T position, bring the knees over the hips. And you're gonna take a deep breath, exhale, bring the knees to the right, and they're just gonna hover above the floor, left elbow stays on the mat, left shoulder, I should say. Inhale back to center, exhale to the other side. So anchoring both shoulders, feeling that twist right here through the obliques. So inhale, center, exhale to the other side. Inhale, center, good. Let's move side to side just a couple more times. One more on each side. So take it to the right, inhale back to center, keep that squeeze on the ring, and you are back, excellent. Let's take the legs nice and long, feet are flexed and heels are pressed to the floor for a straight leg isometric. So as we work through this, think about really engaging your quads, squeezing them, pulling the pelvic floor tight and using your breath. The feet are going to stay on the floor and to start, just the shoulders come up off the mat. So reach those arms overhead, feel the length first. Remember to always lengthen. So let's take a little bit of length on the right side. So take the right leg, lift it up, and extend it out nice and long, and put the foot back down. And at the same time, now reach the right arm longer, but that space becomes, comes from between the rib cage and the hip. Find that length. Now let's do that on the left. So lift the left leg up, extend it out, place that leg back down, and reach that left arm long, finding that length from between the rib cage and the hip. That's where we're lengthening, right through the waist. So key. And now with all that length and remembering to length, lengthen in between each move, let's exhale, reach the arms overhead, curl, float the head, relax the shoulders. So you're just coming part way up and then inhale, find your length. Take the time to do that. Exhale, reach, curl, tuck the chin, and then inhale, find your length. Right, you wanna get taller, you wanna look longer and leaner. That's why we're doing Pilates, a nice strong core to help our body move better. Exhale, reach, curl, and then inhale to lengthen. Exhale, reach, curl, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, reach and curl, inhale, lengthen, reach and curl. That's it, let's do that one more time. Perfect. Take that right arm up on a high diagonal, left hand down by your side. You're gonna circle, palm up. Circle the arm out and over to the left, and then inhale, lengthen. So that left palm slides down towards your left heel, not lifting too high yet. Exhale, reach and curl. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, reach and curl. Inhale, lengthen. Let's do two more on this side, then we're gonna switch sides. And the last one, exhale, reach and curl. Inhale, lengthen, switch sides. That left arm is up. Right hand down by the side, palm is facing, exhale, circle, curl. This is a great movement through the shoulders as well. Exhale, reach and curl. Inhale, lengthen, reach and curl. Pull the belly nice and tight. Think about squeezing your thighs together and moving with intention. Last one, right here. So from here, flex the feet, press those thighs together. We can try to do a full roll up. You do not have to do this. You can still work in your straight leg isometric. Exhale, reach, curl, but just see what you can do. So an exhale, reach, curl. Coming up, if we can keep those feet to the floor, lengthen at the top, right here. 
Really reach tall. Inhale, exhale, roll back down. One vertebrae at a time, nice and slow. So you might be at the straight leg isometric or at the full roll up. It all depends on where you feel it today. Exhale, reach, curl. So again, feet need to be staying pressed towards the floor. If they're coming up, stay in your straight leg isometric and reach all the way up here. That's it, inhale, exhale, roll it back down so you to pull the belly in. One vertebrae at a time going down slowly and printing all the way down. And then inhale, find that length. Let's do that again. Exhale, reach, curl, and bring it up all the way up. Now pull the belly button in. So if you are still doing that straight leg isometric, maybe roll to the side and come to this sitting up position. Reach the arms overhead, pull the belly in, exhale, and just hinge forward. A little bend in the knee, and then inhale, lengthen back up. Find that length again, that nice strong long thigh. You got it. Exhale, pull the belly in, reach. Going a little further each time. So also working on flexibility in Pilates as well as strength. Inhale one more time. Exhale. Perfect. All right, from this seated position, we're all gonna roll down as slow as we can. So what I want you to do is not beat me there. So squeeze your thighs together, pull the pelvic floor tight, roll down one vertebrae at a time, as slow, as slow, as slow as you can make it. And at the top, we're gonna to take length. So clasp the hands, press the palms away, point the toes, and just imagine someone is pulling you in half. So they gently grasp your heels and your wrists and splitting your body in two. That's it, breathing there. Right. If you have a ring, pillow, or a block, Take hold of that right now, pull your knees in, and extend the legs up as we move and do some work in rib cage stabilization. So you're gonna take the ring, you're gonna take your legs, right here, the ring's gonna come between the ankles, but externally rotate through the thighs and the hips. So rather than just turn the ankles, point, and then externally rotate right there. And you're gonna take the ring right between the ankles, and give it a super good squeeze right here. Reach your arms overhead. We're gonna curl up from here. Exhale, reach, curl, tuck the chin, look right between the knees, and then inhale, lengthen. Exhale, reach and curl. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, reach and curl. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale. Keep externally rotating, squeezing those thighs together. That's it. Let's pulse up one, two. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, reach and curl. Pulse up one, two. Inhale, lengthen. So you've got that squeeze of the rib cage to the hips right there. Reach and curl. One, two. Let's do that one more time. Arms overhead. Let's take the arms out to the side. And we're going to just lift the hips up. So just lift the tailbone up and the hips up off the mat. Very small move. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. So working in a super low abs right here. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, that's it. Think about pressing those toes right up to the sky. Just look straight up and down one more time. You've got it. All right, from here, we're actually going to take the ring out just a couple of inches and then back. So you can actually take your hands, your fingertips to the temples Inhale, exhale, come into an upper ab curl, pull the belly in, tuck the chin, look between the thighs. Inhale the ring out a couple of inches. Exhale back to 90. Inhale out, exhale in. Inhale out, exhale in. Inhale, and you can come a little further if that works for you. So as long as you can keep the low back close to the mat, you can come further away from the body. Inhale. Tuck the chin, elbows wide. We've got two more here. And the last one. Excellent work. Pull your knees into your chest. Remove the ring, breathe. And circle your hips in one direction and then in the other. Taking a little reclining spinal twist. Arms out to the side. Exhale, bring the knees to the right and look out over the left arm. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe up and down your spine from the base all the way to the top. 
and then lift the left leg first, bring it over, it's coming slow, and then bring the right leg with it. So nice and slow. This time look out over your right shoulder. I'm looking away from you for a minute. Breathe again up and down the spine. Feel the length as you breathe, lengthening the vertebrae. Let a nice release along the spine. Again, now this right leg slowly. So keep that left leg on the floor for as long as you can. And then take it with you. Control. That's it. And we're going to come back. Bring it back. Right here, excellent. And then bring both knees in and place both feet on the floor. So from here, we're gonna move into hundreds. So we're gonna start here. We're gonna kind of move up a couple different levels. So place those hands right down by the side of your hips. Exhale, tuck your chin, roll up, pull the belly button in. So you're looking between the knees, your hands are here. So we can be right here. Exhale for one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. And if you want a little more, knees come over the hips, chins parallel to the floor. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, tuck the chin, look between the knees. And even more, take those legs out to 45. Here we go. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two. Now we're gonna to start to really beat the arms strongly, warming up the body so the knees can be bent. Feet on the floor, knees over the hips, or right here at that 45. Couple more. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, last one. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Pull the belly in nice and tight, and pull your knees in. Excellent. Moving on to a double leg stretch. So pulling those knees in. Inhale, exhale, come into that upper abdominal curl. Hands are right on top of those shins. Tuck the chin, look between the legs. Inhale, extend the arms and legs out. Exhale, force the air out and pull them in. Inhale out, exhale in. Inhale out, exhale in. Breathe, and I wanna really have you think about reaching super long away from the body. So as you reach away, make it big. Inhale out, exhale in. Inhale out, exhale in. Inhale, Last one right here. Pull those knees in, relax your head down. Look out over the right shoulder. Just stretch out that neck a little bit. Back to center, look out over the left shoulder. And breathe here. Let's get ready for single leg stretch. Inhale, exhale. Tuck the chin, roll. Extend the left leg out, hip height or higher. If that low back's coming up off the mat, you wanna be up here rather than here. Pull the belly in and then switch. Switch, same idea. We're extending the legs out nice and long, tucking the chin and looking between the legs. Good. And we are using that breath, super important here. Lengthen and breathe, feeling strong here. Fingertips to temples, cross, crawl right here. So as we do this, Think of the opposite shoulder to the outside of the opposite thigh, and our elbows are wide. We lead with the center of the chest. That's it. Just a couple more right here. And the last one. Pull it in. Definitely feeling warm now feeling that core. So the hands are gonna come behind the thighs and we're gonna roll up. So roll up right here. I'm gonna turn and face you for just a few moments. So we're gonna do some rolling. A couple different options with our rolling. And that is we roll back onto just the shoulders and up, hands right behind the thighs. That's option one. Option two, bring your feet together. Knees are wide, your hands are supporting underneath your legs. Inhale back, and exhale up, that's it. Inhale back, wherever you are, you're trying to balance at that top. So inhale and exhale. Nice massage for the spine, good core work. Let's do that again, inhale, balance, two more. 
one more. And come all the way up. Feet on the floor, pull the belly in. Coming into a nice teaser right here. So we've got a lot of different options with that. So you're gonna lengthen those arms out, pull the belly in and sit back, relax the shoulders. Feet can be on the floor. You can also lift right here, relax the shoulders, chest is lifted. Pull the belly in right here, hands right behind the thighs. And if you want a little bit more, extend everything long and feel that shake. So you're lengthening out through the crown of the head, relaxing your shoulders, reaching across the room. Pull the belly button in. Inhale and exhale right here. Feel that shake. Enjoy it, like it. That's you getting stronger. Breathe. That's it, that's it. Breathe, breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Butterfly stretch, soles of the feet together. Bring them in and let those knees drop wide, opening the hips. Inhale, exhale, take a little hinge forward right here. Breathe into that. Elbows if you can, just gently pressing down on the inner thighs to find a little bit more release to the inner thighs and hips. All right, good work there. Extend the legs out nice and long, feet are flexed. Heels press to the floor. Take your arms out to the side. So lengthening, so inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, center. So as we move here, think about lengthening out through the crown of the head, relaxing the shoulders. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Twist, keep lengthening. Anchoring the hips. Now you can point the toe when you twist to the right, point the right toe. Twist to the left, point the left toe. One more time to each side. That's it. Spine stretch forward. So reach those arms overhead. Inhale, exhale, pull the belly in and reach forward, hinging from the hips. Maybe those fingers come right down to the toes. Maybe just to the thighs, wherever it feels good for you. You want a nice stretch here. Breathe into this. Excellent work. And let's come on up. So we're gonna get the other side. So we're gonna actually go on to our belly and work our back. So that's where we're going next. So roll over on, just get a little, fix the microphone here. Here we go. All right, so roll over onto your belly. And your elbows are gonna be right underneath the shoulders. You're just making like a triangle or the letter A with your hands. Now what I want you to really think about here is relaxing the shoulders from the ear and engaging your upper back, pulling the belly away from the floor, and hips stay on the floor. So you're gonna take that right leg and you're gonna lift it and lower. Exhale, lengthen and lift. So again, more of a lengthening than just a lift. Exhale, lift and lengthen. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift and lower. Imagine somebody taking your toe and pulling you across the room. That's it. Lift, let's go to the left. Exhale, lift, and your gaze is right to the top of your mat. Pressing your hips into the mat, but pulling the belly away, sliding the shoulders from the ears and opening up through the chest. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower, lift, lower, lift. That's it, relax the shoulders from the ears. Looking good, one more. All right, thoracic extension. So pull the belly in, arms will come out in a T-shaped position. Palms facing forward, thumbs are up. So keeping the feet on the floor, just think about pressing your big toes together. Exhale, lift, bring your hands to your hips. Reach wide, and then inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, hands to the hips. Reach wide, and inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, hands to the hips. Wide, and inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, hands to the hips, that's it. Reach wide, and lower, keep going. And lower down. Two more. Last one. And lower that down. Let's take your hands underneath your shoulders. You're gonna come up onto all fours. So wrists are under the shoulders, knees are under the hips. Your spine is in neutral to begin. We're gonna inhale. Cow, lift the chin and chest. 
Exhale, tuck the chin and tailbone and round the spine. Pull the belly button right into the spine. Inhale, chin up, tailbone up. Exhale, round, cat cow, that's it. Inhale, feel the mobilization throughout your back. I'm gonna do that one more time. And then we're gonna find that neutral spine. So the wrists are under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Now pull the belly in. You're gonna take the right arm and left leg and lift them out so that they're hip higher. Hip and shoulder height. Press that left hand into the mat to keep you square, shoulders and hips square. Reach through the fingertips to begin, and then inhale, touch the fingertips and toes down. And then exhale, lift to hip and shoulder height. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Pull the belly in, and think about lengthening out. So remember, reaching out through the crown of the head, reaching out through the fingers and the toes. You've got energy coming out from the center of the body to the opposite sides of the room, creating length and strength. One more on this side. Let's reset. So again, press both hands actively into the mat. Left arm, right leg. Find the length first with the toes and the fingertips. Pull the belly in. Press the right hand into the mat to square shoulders and hips. And then move. Inhale. So you've been moving on a nice strong foundation here. Inhale. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. So still working the back and the core at the same time. That's it. Just to hip and shoulder height. So control the movement. Control the range of motion. Perfect. And one more. Alrighty. So roll the toes under. You're gonna come into a nice downward facing dog. We've been here before. Spread the fingers, press the palms into the mat. Bicycle those heels up and down. So we're just gonna come in to a plank, a high plank. So bend your knees, first bend the knees. Your thighs are gonna just rest on the knees and then kind of shoot into that plank. So shoulders come over the wrists. Breathe and then bend the knees and come back. And let's shoot again into that plank. Press those hands into the mat and back again. And again, hold here this time. Right leg is gonna lift five times. Squeeze five, four, three, Two, one, left leg, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it back into that down dog, press back. Breathe here in and out. And then bring those knees down, and we're going to come to our side. So we're gonna do some leg work too, some hip range of motion. So rest your head in your hand. Bring your feet to the bottom corner of the mat, kickstand position. Right here, good. Relaxing the shoulders, pulling the belly in, keeping it nice and engaged throughout. We're gonna exhale, flex, inhale, point. Exhale, flex, inhale, point. Exhale, flex, inhale, point. Flex, point, flex, point. That's it, flex, point, flex, and point. Right here, last one, exhale, flex. Inhale, point, we point and bend. Extend and flex, point and squeeze. So as you're moving this, that leg is extending out long. Point and bend, extend and flex, point and squeeze. Point and bend, extend and flex, point and squeeze. Two more. Now we can begin to add a double leg lift if that feels good, exhale. Lift and lengthen. So you want to use that exhale. Inhale. Good. Again, you can leave that double leg lift out. Bend and flex. Exhale. Point and bend. Extend and flex. Point and squeeze. Exhale. Anchor the hips and lift. One more on this side. That looks good. Small range of motion. So take the top leg, lengthen it out, stacking the hips, relax your shoulders, engage the core. Small circles in one direction. That's it. And then in the other direction, take it in the other direction. About the size of a cantaloupe here. You've got that. Relax the shoulders away from the ears, pull the belly in. You're staying nice and engaged. Take that top knee. Bend it, let that hip relax just a little bit. 
Good. Now I'm going to have you stack your knees and they're going to come right to 90 degrees. So we're going to work a little clamshell here. So pull the belly in, keeping the ankles together, lift the knee and then lower it down. Now lift your ankle and down. Very small, very small movement here, but you're going to feel it. Exhale, lift and open. Exhale, lift, good. And open, lift. Very small, working those hips. Hips are so important. That's it. And the last one, right here. All right, now extend your legs long. I'm gonna have you come onto the elbow. The elbow is right underneath the shoulder. And we're gonna come right onto that bottom knee. We wanna really lift the hip here, reach the arm overhead and lift this leg. Reach and find length. 10 little crunches right here. Exhale, elbow to knee, and inhale, lengthen. Exhale and lengthen so your shoulders are stacked. That's it, and find that length. Bottom hip lifted, five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. All right, let's go on to the other side. So this time, you're lying on the other side, setting up exactly the same way here. So you're going to rest your head in your hand, bring your feet to the bottom corner of the mat, kickstand position right here. Relax the shoulders, pull the belly in, stack your hips. Exhale, lift, inhale, point. Exhale, flex, inhale, point, flex. Point, keep breathing, and point. So working the hips, the range of motion here, so key. That's it. Exhale, flex. Inhale, point. Flex. And point. One more. Flex. And point. Point and bend. Extend and flex. Point and squeeze. Exhale, anchor the hips and lift. Stay right here. Leave that lift out for just a moment and squeeze. I really want you to think about the length. I got carried away. Think about the length first. So you're almost making that leg longer than the other one. Yep. So point and bend. Extend and flex. Point and squeeze. Point and bend, extend and flex. Point and squeeze. Now add that double leg lift if that feels good for you. Use that exhale. Bend, flex, good. Point and bend, extend and flex. Point and squeeze. Exhale, anchor those hips and lift both legs if you can do that. A few more. Point and bend, extend and flex. Point and squeeze. Exhale, anchor and lift. Two more. You got it, you're almost there. Couple minutes and lift. Nice. Okay, small range of motion. So lift the top leg, extend the leg out long, make that effort, relax the shoulders. Small circles forward. They're small, five for the cantaloupe. Keep it tight, keep it small. Breathe into this. Hold it and take it in the other direction. Relaxing the shoulders again, away from the ears. Good. Good, feeling good. Let's bend that knee. Give it a little rest because you're gonna feel that burn right here. So let's stack the knees. It's 90 degrees here. And what we're gonna do is anchoring those heels together to lift the knee. So you're not gonna let the hip go back. So it's a small movement and then lift the ankles. Good, so one ankle. Lift the top knee, close, lift the top ankle. So our hips are still, there's very little rocking, so we're all gonna have a different range of motion in this, but we're building strength and increasing the range of motion if we keep with this. Yeah, lift. Let's do it one more time. Right here. Already, so now come up, elbow underneath the shoulder, bottom knee down, we're stacking shoulders right over that bottom elbow, top arm over, leg lifted. Now really lift here, almost kind of squeezing your rib cage and your hip together. 10, elbow to knee, nine, eight, pressing into that lower forearm, five, find the length, three, Two, and one. Excellent work. All right, let's roll onto our back for just a moment. Pull those knees into the chest once again. 
Move it all around. Arms out to the side. Let's take another reclining spinal twist to the right. Look over the left and breathe. You're all done. Just check in with how you feel right now. Feeling a little bit longer, a little bit stronger. That's why we came to the mat today and to the other side. And when you're ready, roll yourself up. Nice job, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me in the Y Virtual Studio today. Again, I'm Kelly. This is IMX Pilates, and I hope to see you again very soon.